Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my August TBR. Now, I am so excited about August TBR because I've got two new releases that are going on it. I have gone completely cosy. Heads up, June's, July's reading didn't go, isn't going quite as well. By the time this goes out, I would have been able to mood read, but Jane Austen July did not work out as well as I wanted. So apart from one classic, I think I'm done with the classics this month. I'm taking it easy. I've got, I'm, and it's just, oh, I'm just so excited about the books. I've gone summary, I've gone historical fiction, I've gone all the books that I wanted to read. I'm not pushing myself. They are literally are just what I need. And I am so friggin' excited. It's unbelievable. Now, first things first, I am gonna do, my show my buddy reads. Then I'm going to do my TBR jar, which I've got my little helper Mia, which will quickly pop in and shut, turn up for the TBR jar. And then I'll show you my other books. Now, heads up, I'm doing the Join the Six Readathon, the 16th to the, let me just double check my date, 22nd of August. I've got my books planned for that, I will tell you in the end. And why is it my, uh, why is it whenever I record my uh, garden turns into a lorry park? I'm also recording when it's about 30 degrees out in the garden and I'm boiling hot and Mia's boiling hot, so this is not fun. So let's get on with it before she, die, before she dies of heat and then she can go inside. So first book that I'm buddy reading is this, which is The Small House of Allington. This is the penultimate book in the series and I'm reading it over two months. I'm still continuing, I'm gonna, it's my last month for the War and Peace read along and my last month for Brother, Brothers Karamoskos. But this is one I'm looking forward to. I didn't like the last book, The Family Parsonage, as much as I wanted to. But this looks good. And now I'm just having a look at where the notes are. It's 600 odd pages, but I don't think I'm going to like the pace of the um, buddy read, the, the, what there was on their, their buddy read schedule. I'm just going to go at my own pace and just read it gradually and read it when I can over the month because I think that will work better for me. Try and take off my stress because it's the school holidays. I'm going to be focused on the children. Hopefully they'll be able to be out and about and we'll have nice weather. So I want to be able to do read more on the days when we're not going out. So that's my plan. Then I've got my first fuzzy read of the month. I'm starting with Actual Age E Brown. It's the third and last book in the Brown Girl series. And I'm buddy reading it with a lovely guy who's the girl that got it for me for my birthday. I've heard on whose video was it yesterday? Naomi's video yesterday that this is got autism rep in it because Eve Brown is a hot, certified hot mess. No matter how hard she strives to do right, her life always goes horribly wrong. <laughs> no, that feeling. She's, so she's given up trying, but when her personal brand of chaos ruins, ruins a wedding, her parents draw a line. It's time for Eve to grow up and prove herself, even though she's not entirely sure how. I cannot wait. I don't want to take, give any more snippets. Cannot wait to start this. I've loved the, Eve, the Brown Girl series. It's one of my favorite series ever. And I'm so, so, so excited by this. Apparently means The last buddy reads of the month is going to be The Long Weekend by Veronica Henry, which I'm reading with Laura from the book Bubbler. I love Veronica Henry books. She's got this. They are cosy. They're contemporary. This is a summer book and I love it. But this is about set in Cornwall, which I look forward to in summer. Claire Marlowe owns the townhouse by the sea with Luca, the hotel's charismatic chef. She ensures everything runs smoothly until our unexpected arrival checks in and turns her whole world upside down. Cannot wait to read this. It's a great summary book and it will be one to end the summer on. Actually, I think I'm using that. I'm just going to check. Da, 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 da. Nope, that's one of the last buddy reads. Then I've got Carry On, which I'm buddy reading with the lovely Chloe from Chloe's Books. I've read some of Rainbow Rowell's books and they are a bit hit and miss for me, but I got sent this by Connor from Connor's Library Corner and I'm excited to read it. Simon Snow is the world's, is the worst chosen one who's ever been chosen. That's what his roommate Baz says and Baz might be evil and a vampire and a complete git, but he's probably right. Half the time Simon can't even make his wand work, the other half he sets something on fire. Don't want to know too much about it, I know it's a chunky book and we're reading it over 10 days, but I've heard a lot of people have loved it can't wait to read it. Looking forward to buddy reading with Chloe because we seem to be a bit hit and miss. Evelyn Hugo's buddy read, that was 100% the best. But last month was a bit meh. So I'm looking forward to this, but I'm a little bit nervous. 
then the last buddy read, that, or not the last buddy read, that, but the buddy read that I'm the most excited about probably, is a road trip by Beth O'Leary. Chris let me buy this a full price, and I don't very often buy a book full price, but I love the switch. I love the flat chair. I love this author's work. She's also a lovely author from what I can gather. You guys have all heard about this. Do I need to tell you any more about it? It's about a girl who goes on a road trip with her sister. I love books with sisters. And they are they are going to a friend's wedding in the rural Scotland. Love books set in Scotland. The playlist is planned and the snacks are back. Mia's getting hot, by the way. That's nothing bad. And, but it's not long after setting off that the car slams into the back of theirs. And the driver is none other than Addie's ex, Dylan, who she has avoided since the traumatic breakup two years earlier. I do not need to say any more. I can't friggin wait i'm so excited cannot wait this is a gorgeous book oh i'm buddy reading this with the lovely Ange from Ange's book chatter who is one of my booktube besties and someone i love to pieces cannot friggin wait now i'm gonna do the tbr jar before mia absolutely kills me she, she's gonna hold the pot and i'm gonna put in no i'm gonna get do you want, do you want to come in mia Right, see if you can hold it. Hang on a second. So she's got the. I'll let her. I'll, right. So she. I've got the books here. I'll let. I'm gonna pick. Da -la, da -la. She's got a gorgeous shades on. Okay. So we have a look. Which one it is? Please tell me the TBR just gonna. Jar's gonna be nice. Quarter past two on a, on a Wednesday afternoon. Now that has been a book that was on my list last year, and I never got round to it. Yeah. No. Don't put it in the because I need that. Okay. It was on my book last year and my plan for last year and I didn't get to read it. So Mia is going to go inside now. I'm just going to put the other ones away. Yeah, it's too hot. It's too hot. So this is a book that Charlie gave me, but my sister Charlie gave me a couple of years ago and it was been on my wish list for ages. 20 years on and Rose is still missing. I do not know more than this. It's quarter past two on a hot afternoon in August. Oh, so it's an August book set in August and it's I'm reading it in August. Anna's beautiful, headstrong elder daughter, elder sister, Rose, disappears. 20 years later, Anna still doesn't know whether Rose is dead or alive. In her early 30s now, she sees a future unfolding with sensible, serious Martin and a grown-up steady job. And she finds herself a bit wondering if that's really what she wants. This is, uh, yet again, my body read. Actually, even though it looks chunky, it's less than 400 pages. So, it's not that bad. It's going to be exciting. Let's see what the TBR job picks. And because... That's that done. I can put that with my heavy books. And now I can show you the other books. So the TBR jar might well have not been too bad for me because that book was on my in my TBR jar last year and I finally got round to it. So it's crossed. Now you're hearing me running around. This is typical. Right, so now let's get, get on with the rest of the books. And I'll tell her to be quiet. Watch out, guys. All the videos in the summer are going to be with her and Thomas around, probably, unless they're out at the time. So my next book in the Philippa Gregory Tudor series is The Taming of the Queen. I have not read too much about this, but this is about Catherine Parr. She has no other choice when Henry VIII, a man who's been buried four wives, commands her to marry him. As a young widow with a secret lover, Catherine knows full well the dangers she faces. But Henry adores his new bride, bride and in her trust in him grows as she unites the royal family. Looking forward to this really looking forward to this this is probably not one of the biggest ones in the Tudor books thank god because it is only da, 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 da. it's only about 400 pages and you know a lot of the other ones have been about 500. i love the plantagen series i'm loving it getting on with it looking forward to going for it then we've got the last in the ones in the series that i've got i know i just like i said in the other bit in the mid year free cut tag i've since found out there is another book being released in September, so that'll be on October's TBR. Libby sinks to the ground, sobbing like her heart is breaking. Our, kid, her, our kidnappers are, mo are, are almost upon us. I see what a man in a tiger mask is holding a gun. Years have passed since the love between Sefi across and Callum and Nort destroyed the world and changed the families forever. Life seems very different now. Being a Nort or a cross isn't like it used to be. People aren't divided by race or can't to survive, at least on the surface. This is the fifth, I think, book in the series, fourth or fifth. Don't say too much more, loving this series. It's another series I'm really excited by. Can't wait to get to it. If it's anything like the rest of them, I'm gonna love it. Then I've got a book that I picked up that's been on my shelves for a while because I think Simon and Mel did it on their channel. Um, Simon from Savage Reads talked about it. 
<laughs> I think me is in the window. And um, I, then I listened to it on the lovely Red Dot Reads, Nikki from Red Dot Reads. She spoke that she read this last month. And it's about a maid of, as a maid of honour to the Queen's coronation and former lady in waiting to Princess Margaret, Anne Glen Connor has spent her life as a friend of the royal family. In this best selling memoir, she looks back on an extraordinary life of glamour, family, and tragedy. It's my non fiction book of the month, and it's one that I'm super excited about. Nikki loved it, so I've got real good hopes that I'm going to love it too. Then I've got a book that I picked up originally because the lovely Julie from Hungry Bookworm said she would have picked this for me. It's The Titanic Sisters. But it's one that's been a bit daunting. One journey will change their lives forever. Sisters Nora and Delia, obviously sisters, that's why I picked up, have been given the chance for a lifetime to escape their poor Irish farm and travel on the Titanic to a new life in America. Nora is to become the treasured governess to a rich family, while Delia has only got a lowly maid's position. But when disaster strikes and Nora is lost, a small misunderstanding leads to Delia taking Nora's place in the, as a governess. But as Delia closes closest to her charge and the girl's father, will she be able to reveal the truth for a chance of happiness? And what will happen when she finds out that Nora is actually alive and coming for what's rightly hers? It sounds a bit historical fiction-y, thriller-y, so I'm a bit excited, a bit nervous by that. Then I've got a book that I picked up because I know that a lot of Tia from Tia's World of Books loves Elaine Hildebrand. A lot of the American, my American booktubers have loved this author. So when I saw this in a charity shop, I wanted to pick it up. It's called A Summer Affair. When the only way to feel alive is to portray the ones you love. Summer book, had to pick it up. Marriage can be as fragile as glass. It looks solid, but can actually, the slightest thing, break it. Glass sculptor Claire understands fragility more than anyone. When she's over, overheated in a studio and fainted, causing the premature of her birth of her son. Then since then, she's given up work and had devoted herself to her husband and her children. Then Locke Dixon begs her to provide a glass sculpture for a charity ball. And Claire knows that her family should come first, but unable to ignore the chemistry building between her and Locke, she can't say no. So I'm really looking forward to that. Then the next in the sorts Punch of Magic series, I picked this up because of Charlie from Charles Heathcote. It's about, it's the next one in the Three Sisters series. So I don't I really don't know any more than that, other than this fact that this is the second book in the series. I just there's not much of a spiel on the back of it so i don't know much i know that i'm looking forward to it i know that a middle grade book will be fun i know that a book about sisters will be fun so i can't wait to read it then this is a book that i got sent by one of my subscribers the lovely amanda on like, a couple of months ago and it's the sort of i think novella for the spinster girls trilogy by holly Bourne. and i really want to find out what happened to all these girls it's a short but sweet book it's literally what can't even read how many pages it is. Not even 200 pages. Sport for sweet, but I love the Spencer's trilogy. Can't wait to find out what happened to the girls. Really can't wait. I've been wanting that book for so long. The next book is one I've been shouting out about. It's been on so many of my videos. I thoroughly can't. This is going to be started on either the 1st of August or the 31st of July because I cannot friggin' wait. It's Page Toon's new newest book. My sister Vicky God loved it. I bought it for her as a present because she's having a rough time at the moment. I also really want to shout out Page Tune. If you like contemporary books, if you like books that links characters from other books in it, if you like an author that has got to be the most caring and diverse and fun author going, pick up her work. I cannot recommend her enough. She's my favourite author of all time. She messages me on Instagram. She replies to my messages on Instagram. She has been absolutely sweet. Um, Stuff me has been put in isolation at the moment and she'll be out of this by the time this video comes live. But when I said that I was having a bit of a rough time and Mia was upset and because I was chatting to her about what my weekend was going to be like, she told me to give my little girl a hug. When I told her that my sister was having a hard time, she was like, oh, she's the most caring lady ever. And I just found out she's writing another book to come out next year. This has got included, this book includes foster care, it includes romance. It just looks amazing. So you guys know I we, my family fostered us when I was a child, so it's really good to read this. At 15, then, then at 15, George is a foster brother Leah never asked for. As the angry, troubled boy struggles to come to terms with, with his circumstances, Leah finds herself drawn to him. Theo has a mysteriously left boarding school, is now at the local state school with George and Leah. When their worlds collide in that summer, the three teenagers form a bond they believe is unbreakable. Now... Shocking news brings Leah back to Yorkshire, baby daughter in tow, but Emil's, Amelia's father, Theo, isn't with them. Obviously, she obviously got with Theo. 
and George has unexpectedly returned. After half a lifetime, will they have healed the scars of the past? Now, Vicky's warned me this is going to make me cry. I cannot wait for it. I literally love this book. Now, oh, I forgot this book, The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. This has got three timelines. It's my chunkiest book of the month. It's 640 odd pages. It's set in 1913, 1975 and 2005. Um, don't, well, don't need no anymore. Before her eyes, the garden has changed. Weeds and brambles, a decade of the growing receded. Leaves lifted from the ground, revealing paths and flower beds and a garden seat. Light was permitted entry once more. Don't want to know too much about this. I know it's got three timelines. I know that I'm excited about it. The first one's set in the First World War with a little girl's abandoned. It's found abandoned on an ocean voyage to, to Australia. Now an old lady, Nell, then travels to England. So that's the girl, she travels to England to decide the future about the truth about her parentage. And then on Nell's death in 2005, her granddaughter Cassandra comes into the surprise inheritance, Cliff Cottage. Cannot wait for that as well. And then lastly, a book that I picked that's been on my shelves, another one for a while, because my sister Charlie gave it to me. It's a book by Lucy Foley, which I love. I love her thrillers, but this is not one of her thrillers. This is a different book. Last Letter from Istanbul. Now, I heard about this on, Bi on Berners Channel. Each day, Nur gazes across the waters of Bosphorus to her childhood home, a grand white house never sold on the opposite bank. Memories flood, float on the breeze and a fragrance of fig trees. So I do not know too much. What they've taken our city, Constantinople, and they call it their own. Now their lives are in the enemy's hands. This looks interesting. So that is it. They're the books I'm reading for this. Now, the, with the Join the Six Reads, I'm going to link um, Kat's video, Kaz, Kaz's video on it, um, her announcement video. And when you get to choose which band member you want to play shoes for out of their, 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 their prompts. I chose guitar. No, I chose keyboard. So these are the books that I'll be reading for that. And I'm going to be reading them over the course of that week. I've got The Road Trip. The first prompt is read a romance. I'm going for The Road Trip. The second prompt is read a black and white book. I'm going for Crossfire. And the third one is read a book that intimidates you. And I'm going to go for The Titanic Sisters because of the sister element and the thriller element of it. So I am really excited about the books. Let me know in the comments below what, video, what books you're reading in the lovely August. I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my tingly and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. Bye. Right.